Hi friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is mixer and allegation. As we know, mixer and allegation is one of the very important topic for all kind of competitive exams. Let it be bank, SSC, UPSC, railways, and placement trainings. In all the exams, minimum two to three questions will be asked. Our today's question is one of the very important question because here we are going to learn the application of allegations in time and distance question. So let's understand and try to solve it here. A man travelled a distance of ninety kilometer in nine hours. See, a man is traveling ninety kilometer in nine hours, right? Okay. So, in one hour, how much distance that man will cover? So, ninety divided by nine, which is nothing but ten kilometer. So, in one hour, ten kilometer, or you can say the speed of the man is ten kilometer per hour. Both is same. See, in one hour, you are traveling for ten kilometer, or if your speed is ten kilometer per hour, both are same. See here, ten kilometer per hour. That means in one hour a person is traveling ten kilometer, right? Okay, so in one hour a man is traveling how much? Ten kilometer. Okay, so a man traveled a distance of ninety kilometer in nine hours, partly on foot at eight kilometer per hour. So on foot the speed of the man is what? Eight kilometer per hour, or you can say eight kilometer in one hour, right? Okay, and partly on bicycle at seventeen kilometer per hour. So if I'll talk about the bicycle, then 17 kilometer per hour. That means 17 kilometer in one hour. Then you have to tell find the distance traveled on foot. So if this question, if you are going to solve by time and distance method, then it will be quite lengthy. But if we use the allegation rule, then it will be very easy. Let's see how do we use allegation rule. So on foot, the person is traveling 8 kilometer in one hour. So I will write here eight kilometer on foot, and then on bicycle, what is the distance he is covering? Bicycle it is seventeen kilometer, right? Okay, and in one hour the person is covering, the man is covering ten kilometer. So here I will write ten kilometer. See this is the this is on foot, this is on bicycle, and this is the average distance you can say ten kilometer per hour. Now if you will subtract seventeen minus ten, and this will be ten minus eight. So this will be seven, and this will be two. See whatever the ratio we have got, that is nothing but time ratio. See seven plus two. If you'll do seven plus two, seven plus two will be what? Nine hours. And see the person is traveling ninety kilometer in nine hours. So this is nothing but just the time ratio. That means it will become seven is to two. So seven hours that person is traveling on foot, and two hour the person is traveling on what? Bicycle. See total is nine hours. Out of that seven hours on Foot and two hours on what? Bicycle. So what has been asked in question? Find the distance travelled on foot. So time I have got time is equal to seven hours on foot. Time I have got, and what has been asked? The distance has been asked. So distance will be a speed into time. This is time and distance formula. So in time, a speed and distance, I will be teaching you this formula. So d is equal to h two. Distance is equal to speed into time. Now distance you have to calculate. What is the speed on foot? So on foot the speed is eight kilometer per hour. So eight kilometer per hour. And what is the time for which the man is traveling on foot? Seven hours. So if you we'll see eight into seven is fifty six kilometer. That means the man is covering fifty six kilometer on foot. And that's what has been asked in the question. So for question number one, option D will be the Correct answer. So this is one of the easy question, and it will not take more than ten second if you are you if you use allegation method. See here we have used three to four minute. The reason is I am explaining you each and everything, and then we are finally able to get the distance. Let's see question number two. Question number two. Question number two is again one of the easy problem, and this is a very interesting question. So let's try to understand, and we will solve it here. A zookeeper counted the head of the animals in a zoo and found it to be eighty. When he counted the legs of the animal, he found it is two sixty. If the zoo had either pigeons or horses, how many horses were there in the zoo? So a zoo count a zookeeper when he counted the head of the animal in a zoo. So what is the total number of head? Total number of head is eighty. And total number of legs when he counted, he found it is two sixty. Right now in the zoo there are two animals are there, one is pigeons and horses. So if we'll talk about pigeons, there'll be one head, right, and how many legs? Two legs will be there. 
if we'll talk about horses then one head and four legs will be there right okay so this total number of legs is what 260 and this 260 will be the combination of 2 plus 4 see 2 for pigeon and 4 will be for horses right okay now here if you are going to use this method of simplification i mean if you'll make the equation and then if you'll try to solve it will be very much lengthy so what i will do here i will use the rule of allegation see allegation will make this question very easy and we will be able to solve in fractions of seconds now suppose if it is pigeons see because there are only two animals in the zoo either pigeons or horse and total number of head is what head 80 so suppose if all the animals are pigeon then what will be the number of legs see total head is 80 that means 80 pigeons are there if we we'll talk about the legs of the pigeons then there will be total 160 legs will be there right here we are considering legs in case of horse if suppose there are total 80 heads then what will be the legs for horse so 80 into 4 will be nothing but 320 see this is 160 the total if all the animals are pigeons only then there will be total number of legs will be 160 if all the animals are horse only then the total number of legs will be what 320 and when the geo keeper counted the total number of legs he found is what 260 now this will be 320 minus 260 and this will be 260 minus 160 so this will be 0 and 6 and this will be what 100 0 0 cancel 3 is to 5 ratio so the legs will be in 3 is to 5 ratio then what has been asked in the question how many horses were there in the zoo so in front of horse see total number of head is what total number of head is nothing but 80 if we have to calculate the number of horse then in front of horse what is there 5 and divide by 5 plus 3 total 8 so if we we'll divide 80 by 8 it will go by 10 times so 10 into 5 is equal to 50 so the total number of horse is 50 horses and total is 80 then if the 50 are horse then the other three heads will be what pigeons head so pigeons will be what 30 so they're asking how many horses were there in the zoo so there were 50 horses were in the zoo and that will be your answer whatever option is there you mark 50 horses so i hope you understood the application of allegation in time and distance as well and the simplification also thanks a lot for watching the video